Do you feel like your little one is starting to show you they have a mind of their own? They have strong likes and dislikes, and they will let you know. It's your toddler's world, and we're just living in it. Their favorite topic is themselves. But what if I told you this is actually a huge step forward in their development? In this video, I'll tell you how you can use this to your advantage to grow their thinking, listening, talking, and social skills, especially if they are a child who is deaf or hard of hearing. If you want to learn more about the LSL strategies and techniques, click the link below and discover all kinds of helpful information and free resources. Hi, I'm Dr. Teresa Carraway with Hearing First. We're here to help and support families just like yours who have a child with hearing loss. We want to empower you as your child learns to listen, talk, read, and thrive just like kids with typical hearing. If your child is deaf or hard of hearing and you want them to listen and talk, listening and spoken language, or LSL, uses strategies and techniques based on research about what little brains need to learn to listen and talk. While the toddler years can be a challenge, it's also when there's a huge burst in their development. They're learning all about themselves and their own little world. We see their personality and interests emerge. They remember which books are their favorites and want you to read them over and over and over and over. And we start to see their pretend play skills start to grow and expand. There's an LSL strategy that takes advantage of this wonderful age and your toddler's strong interest in themselves to grow their conversation skills. We call it, It's All About Me. What does this strategy look like? It's All About Me is when you connect your child and their personal experiences to the books, games, and other activities that are happening. You turn everything into something about your toddler. This prompts their thinking, helps their memory, and allows them to practice talking about themselves and what they've done before. Here are some examples of how you can use this strategy. With a baby or a young toddler, you can use this strategy simply by using their name and the names of other family members when you read a book, like Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin. Replace the words and try, Zoe, Zoe, what do you see? I see a yellow bird looking at me. You could also make your own book using photos of family members and read, Grandma, Grandma, what do you see? I see Papa looking at me. For an older toddler, read a book like No David by David Shannon and connect the story to their life. Oh, look, David is in the bathtub. Whoa, look at all his toys. You have lots of toys in your bathtub too. What do you like to play with when you take a bath? Notice how we connect something familiar from the toddler's life to the story and that will get their attention. And then we ask a question, not a yes or no question, but an open-ended question to encourage them to tell you more about what they like. With your toddler, you can pretend play and include the names of people your child knows. You'd be amazed at how much your toddler wants to pretend using names and activities from your family's daily life. Engage with your toddler's play and help them put words and names to what they're doing. Ask them questions so they can practice their conversational skills with you. So if you're having a pretend picnic, you could say, let's set up our picnic. Here's a plate for me. Who else needs a plate? Oh, here's daddy's plate. Here's sissy's plate and continue encouraging your child to name other family members and friends, and maybe even their stuffed animals. While this strategy is great for toddlers, you can use it with older kids too. At any age, you can connect your child's past experiences to what you're reading together. When reading a book about the zoo, you could say, oh, look at the gorilla. Remember, we saw gorillas at the zoo. We saw the gorilla swinging. You like to swing too. When you use It's All About Me, 
You're helping draw your child's attention to new topics and broaden their mind. You're also preparing them to talk more about their experiences with others and join in the conversation. This will help them to be an exceptional conversationalist when they grow up. We also have more videos explaining different LSL strategies in a playlist for you. Wherever you are on this journey and however you may be feeling, you are not alone. Hearing First is here to help you every step of the way. Visit hearingfirst.org to find more resources and support on this journey. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for the latest videos.